special meeting, April 8, 2015. Um, let's see, meeting being recorded for accuracy. The Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, meeting is for try to find a new certified operator. Uh, we invited each group and we would like to know where you guys stand on this if you'd be one interested in coming in to operate and we need fees and stuff from you. Mm -hmm. You want me to talk on that now, Marty? Please. Um, so, I mean, we're interested in helping the authority out. Um, it's always our intention when we go into, because we do help other systems. We help the sewer authority. Um, we work with other systems also. I always say this off the get-go. I mean, we're the band-aid, we're not the cure. I mean, obviously, you know, I would encourage the authority to, you know, try to retain the services of a, somebody that's a little bit closer. We're two hours away. I mean, I'm just being honest about that. Um, you know, I think it's also, you know, Eric's done a good job for the authority, and you know, kudos to him. He's moving on. And I wish him the best. Um, Henry has taken his exams. And you know, I don't know what his intentions are, if he's interested in being, and I'm not trying to put Henry on the spot, but um, I'm just talking from our perspective. I mean, we would obviously need him to be integrally involved, um, because obviously for us to be here every day is probably not realistic or feasible from an economic standpoint. Um, so the one scenario, I'll just talk about it first, hypothetically speaking, if, if Henry would be the guy that's gonna be doing the day-to-day sampling and operations and managing of the system you know i envision us myself and brian being here two days a week potentially just to oversee and, and answer any questions that henry would have and just help on the dep reporting end of things and just to ensure things are still in compliance um, the fees for us to do that um, our operations fees is $60 an hour. I mean, obviously that covers all of our liability and everything else from an insurance standpoint. We would not charge mileage um, for us to come up. That would be included in that hourly rate. So again, if you run the numbers, um, 16 hours a week, you know, it works out to be about $3,840 a month um, for us to do that. If Henry passes his exams and he wants to be the certified operator for the authority, and I think Henry has done an outstanding job from our opinion. Um, he's learned to do the daily testing. I think he's comfortable with that. Um, if he does pass his certifications, he has enough time from, a, from working under Eric or working under another certified operator to get certified at this point. Um, he would basically just have to submit his results to DEP and, and apply for his certificate, which that takes basically three to four months, depends on the state board of certification meets for like four times a year, every quarter. So it depends on what meeting you hit for them to evaluate your package and then get your certificate back. Um, I don't foresee, I mean, again, if, if Henry passed all, his, all of his exams, realistically in three and a half, you know, three to four months, he could have his certificate and be the guy. Um, so then again, that limits, takes away time that we would have to spend. Right. And again, we would be here to assist him <clears throat> via phone or um, you know, whatever he would need. If he would need us to be here on site, we would gladly assist him. Um, again, we'll, we'll help in any way, shape, or form that the authority would like. Um, but again, for us to be here every day, again, I don't think that's realistic. Um, I did talk with Dennis Beck. Um, we work with Central Mainline Sewer Authority down in the Portage area, and he's on their board um, of directors. Dennis, I think, still wants to stay involved, and again, I don't want to speak for him either, but um, it sounded like he would still be interested in covering the weekends if necessary. Um, 
but again, I don't think he, he didn't say this out, right out, but I mean, is he willing to hang his license? Maybe he is, and maybe that's, and I don't know what arrangements you have with him as far as payment and that type of thing, but, and again, that's not my business, but. Um, I think Dennis is a very good option, and I think I would encourage the authority to still keep him on board also. Again, I kind of look at this as a team effort until, you know, the board decides, you know, maybe advertise or get some applicants in here and look at that. And again, if Henry passes and is going to be the guy, great, you know, move in that direction, get him another guy to help him with what he needs to do on a day-to-day -day basis, and again, we'll assist. Um, with Henry's time, he's got just you know a little more than a year. Mm -hmm. Isn't it two years? They checked the work position two years, I think. Not that's for an A. I think for this system, you think you only need a year. Um, the way I understand it. Okay. I don't think you need two years because it's not it's not an A certification system. So I think you only need a year under a certified operator to get your license. Yeah, yeah. we can check right. into that. But so that, you know, obviously it gives us a different option. Correct. Too. That's correct. When I came into this meeting, I was assuming that it was two years that he needed, and we were looking as you know a bridge between now and then. Mm -hmm. You know, for that, especially with the projects, we've got our everything sure. in hand now, so we sure. can start moving. Um, so again, again, I think the big things to find out is did Henry pass his exams? You know, that's that's critical. Um, and I, like we were just talking before the meeting started, some of our guys took some exams the same day Henry did. And they, were, they just got the results last night or Monday night in the mail. So they should be coming here this week. And so that would, you know, be a good thing. But I think that's going to dictate what direction the authority ultimately goes. Right. Well, we do have a letter from Dennis, uh, you know, with the proposal. Okay. And he is willing to work six hours a day. Okay. You know, to help us bridge this gap, you know, we've got his rates. Um, the problem we have is obviously they want somebody 24 hours a day availability, mm -hmm. you know, for that. And that's what we have to look at, you know, at this point. Mm -hmm. He's also, you know, he's 90 miles away too for an emergency right. type call out. If the authority would want you to come to a meeting, would it be the $60 rate for that too? Or? Typically, when we come to the meetings, we do that under retainer. It's, it's $100 whether we're, whether we're here for six hours or an hour. Um, I mean, that's our, hour, that's our meeting rate. And when we come to any of, the, any of our authority meetings, it's $100. And again, whether one person comes or five people come from our office, it's, it's the same rate. We don't charge mileage for that either. Okay, as far as charging mileage, it's $60 an hour is from the time you leave Johnstown. So for two hours coming up, it's $120? It, it, it could be, Bob. I mean, again, we have operations in Burnside, which is in Clearfield. Yeah, but uh, I mean, the worst case would be you leave Johnstown and paying $120 for you to get here, time at the plant, $120 to go back. Sure. Yeah, sure. okay. What about this Henry? How many hours a week is he going to work? I mean, he's already a full time. He's already full time. Yeah. Henry's already a full time. Okay. That's, that's me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would, I would hope you'd still stay yeah. for me. Yeah. 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 So. I probably more. Like, more. Yeah. How much time do you guys have involved with a water plant of, like we have a burn deal? I mean, do you guys have any experience with it? Uh, yeah, we have We have some other, so we have two other systems that are very similar to this, this type of layout and design. I mean, I'm going to be honest, every plan is unique, every, you know. Well, I understand that because we got, what started all this was an operator that, how we ended up in this mess was because somebody didn't do what they were supposed to do. Sure. Uh, has the board checked locally? I know uh, C.J. Miles from Dubois at one point worked here. We who was did, very uh, we did confident. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? Sure. Yeah. I can't hear you. No, I asked her if we, were, if we had placed an ad yet. We had not. So. Well, I, I think I'd reach out to him personally because he's worked at the plant for a couple of years up there. He was under contract to uh, the identifying operator, but uh, he's got everything he needs to run the plant. Uh, and I know Eric has maybe been in communication just, with him, but we have not you know, yeah. uh, during this process. So 
and that's why we're having a meeting to see what our options are and you know yeah i understand that but uh i mean obviously uh for two hour travel time that somewhat limits the uh the personnel and i think it'd be prudent i'm sure you'd agree to look in this area see who you can find I know at one time, and I don't ever saw anything in writing, it was questioned about eight years ago what they would do for a backup operator, and they said they would go to St. Mary's. Now, I never saw any contract or written agreements, but hey, you might want to call Dwight over there and talk to him a little bit, see if they couldn't just lend you somebody, or, you know, obviously you'd have to pay for it, but... Well, finding out that Henry could be available, you know, yeah, as an sure. operator in the next few months, it kind of sheds a light on everything for us right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, my opinion with Dennis willing to put in those hours and continue. He's, he has been working with Henry also as far as his training and stuff. The same thing he did with Eric when he was up here initially. You know, I think it's somebody that we need to keep on, you know, at this point. Well, if you um, put Henry on as the main operator in a few months, who would be the backup operator? Well, would it be Dennis? Or? It would be Dennis. Dennis still, right. Okay. Yeah, that's the question I to ask. I mean, whichever route we go, since we have the possibility of having Henry be, be our guy, mm -hmm. and Dennis here, um, somebody's still got to cover the weekends. You know, so we still need pretty much the same setup we have now. Um, I think we really need to get the answers on whether we can get that certification in the next few months before we decide to change it. It's because if Dennis would become our main guy, who, who's going to cover the weekends? Is that Henry? Is that the, the theory? You know what I mean? Because he's only willing to work six, six hours, hours a day, a day yeah. um, and four days a week. And I know there's issues there with his retirement. Right. Uh, there is. Kind of, this is kind of surprised me today that he was willing to even take on 40, mm -hmm. 40 hours a week. Well, I, I think we should ask Henry's opinion, opinion, opinion what he thinks of this deal here. Henry, uh, but I don't want to work seven days a week. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, if it's an emergency <laughs> and it gets by for a short period of time, <laughs> right? Okay, but you know, I have a life outside of work. You know, Good luck with that. <laughs> I, mean, I do do things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm willing to help. You want to stay on? Ed. I'm not going to talk tail and run. Good. Good. Do you have to have a guy there seven days a week? Seven days a week. Right now. Yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody needs to check the plant and, and make sure everything's in compliance seven days a week. At least till probably the end of the year. Now, does that have to be a licensed operator seven days a week? No. Yeah. No. Working no. under, under, working the, under yeah. the operator. No, yeah, under the operator's you're, supervision. Right. As long yeah. as you're working under standard operating procedures, Bob, I mean, and under the guidance and direction of the certified operator, then, then you're covered. Right, that's their still under review by the EP. This guy that's going to work, if they would want to work six hours a day, would that be enough? It should be with Henry there. Filling in the other time. And the other guy's got the license and everything? Yes, yes. Does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. That's, go up, what? Go ahead. Are you going to be looking for a secretary in the near future also? That's the, the other questions that I have to Christine. I think we're going to need an extra maintenance guy, basically, to you know, fill in Henry's position at this point and the secretary in the next couple months. You know, we need to probably be moving at the end of the school year. So, so there's two positions that we'll definitely have to, you know, fill here quickly. Yeah. One that gets somebody in so she can train them in the room. I think we've got to work out who's, I mean, obviously we have to work out whose license is going to be hanging there. Mm -hmm. And then what variation of hours? Obviously, Henry's already got his 40 hours a week, and we'd like to keep him there and see where, where that leads to with his testing. Um, but if, if obviously Dennis is willing to work more hours than we thought he was, mm -hmm. 
if we can figure out how that's going to work and develop a schedule that kind of overlaps. So neither one of them is working seven days a week, but the weekends are being covered. Um, and see how Eads fits into that, or you know. yeah. And if Dennis is willing to hang his license, and, and again, I'm I'm 100 comfortable with that. And if you want us to, to assist or be a backup, right, we'll gladly fill that role also. Mm -hmm. I think for now that might be our best option because you guys are the most familiar with you know what's going on and stuff. You know, if we could utilize him as the you know chief operator, sure, and then keep you guys as a backup, mm -hmm. you know, possibly, you know, to cover, you know, maybe a weekend or something like that, an emergency. Mm -hmm. Also, will we know if you pass this test? Should know this week. Know this week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping it's there when I get home. Yeah, like I said, then, then he has to apply for the certification. It right. could take a couple months. You know, at a minimum, we're looking at, you know, maybe July or August, I would think. I would agree with that. Did he do the background check, the police? They didn't do record? that. That's part of the package when you submit your... I thought you had to do yeah, that. Yeah, the background order. check. Yeah, but you could do that now. You want to save a little time. I don't know how long one takes. It, it, as long as there's nothing on your record, it, you can get it instantly. It just costs 10 bucks, and you go through the state police. Because when they send you your certification packet, that's part of that. And we can help you with that too, Henry. I mean, so I did something. that before for my asthma. Also. Yeah, okay. Same thing. I think we need to find out Dennis's intentions or what days, you know, maybe he's saying if he's hanging his license, he's only wants to be there Monday through Friday. I, I mean, we need to find out more information from Dennis on, on how that's going to work, you know what I mean? If they can come together and work that overlapping schedule and cover the seven days a week. Jeremy, can you get in touch with Dennis before Tuesday's meeting? Your regular meeting? Oh, yeah. I'm sure we can, yeah. yeah. And I mean, again, we'll we'll gladly, you know, we'll, we can submit a formal package. I didn't want to spend time and stuff putting all that together if we didn't know what direction we were going to go. Again, I think the best direction, if it was me, is the one we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Henry being the guy, if he passed, get that get submitted. If Dennis is willing to fill the role for a temporary period and then maybe us be the backup, I think that's a pretty realistic option. And I think DEP would be comfortable with that, but at the end of the day, it's ultimately right. you folks and the customers. I mean, that's that's the most important thing. So, I think we have more options than we thought we had. Yeah, <laughs> um, and we need to get more information from Dennis. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to Dennis. Can you? Yeah, can you get one of the So we can clarify today on the certification and the things like that, how much time he would need. To, right. I mean, we'll figure that out today. So, the other is we need to put an ad in the paper, obviously, for the maintenance person then and the secretary. We can start working on that. That I will do sooner. Yeah, later. You yeah, have ads from. Mm -hmm. The previous time that we could just run the same plan we were looking for before. Now we're looking for, are we looking for an operator in this scenario or just a maintenance person? Maintenance. Yeah, just make the back Henry. Right. Probably maybe somebody that could be trained as well because that seems to have worked out pretty well for us in the process. It has, yeah. Marty, I think it would be a good idea of having Mrs. Anita looking for the secretary. You, have a couple minutes you would also you look for a backup person to train with that secretary as well, so we're not in the jam we are in now. A good idea, Nadine. Okay, sure. We'll keep that in mind. I think we'll train at the yeah. same time. He's going to call back. He's the bad secretary. He's going to stop and get the service. We'll call back and see Okay, Anita, um, first thing is going to put an ad in for a maintenance person and secretary at this point. And when we interview, we'll keep that secretary option open as a backup, depending on who applies for the position. Is that going to be full time maintenance? Yes. And a secretary, Anita, what's your hours? How many roughly a week? Uh, about 25. You're going to do that as a motion? So it's all it makes one. 
come in promotion. So I get full time maintenance and 25 hours a week for secretary, right? Second. Approximately, I'll second it. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. How about the backup secretary? The backup secretary is going to be an option when we interview to see if there's anyone that will, could fit into that criteria. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be basically looking for a backup, but if we get a couple good candidates, we'll <coughs> interview in that direction. See if they'll, you know, cover sick time or whatever. But obviously we'll be looking for local, you know, people that close by. And uh, the other thing is what Bob said is I'll try to get a hold of CJ myself. I have not talked to him at all. I know he's going to be going back to the fort for there and just see what what option he gives us. He worked with Dennis as well at yeah. that time, right? So I mean, they're familiar. I mean, that might be an option to fill in some Well, even, even on you know, in every other weekend or something. Mm -hmm. So Henry's not, we don't put him in the same position that we put Eric, you know, to these points. You might want to talk to Dwight over at St. Mary's, maybe one of their guys might be interested in. Well, with the options we have right now, Bob, if CJ's willing to yeah. put in some time, well, he's familiar with the plant. Yeah. We've got Henry, yep. we've got yeah. Dennis, and we've got Peter. I understand, Peter, that. I understand. I think if that door closes on you, there's yeah. another option. Yeah. But I think right now that's a lot more options than I thought we had coming into the meeting, to be honest with you. I didn't know what direction we were going to have to go with it, so. Mm -hmm. And it's just waiting on Dennis. Yeah. Okay, so give him a couple minutes. Yeah. You're going to handle that many calls or you want to to discuss the technicalities of it with him? Or? Well, first we got, we've got to know what he wants as far as um, yeah. his proposal and stuff. But if we have him during the week, we're not going to have him on the weekends, obviously. Mm -hmm. So what we'll need to do is just basically flex the hours with them, you know. Maybe you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, from one week or one day. Yeah, we trade off back for how they would like to mm -hmm. try to do it. Six hours a day enough on the weekend. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, as long as there's not an emergency situation going right. on, I think that's more than that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and he, and he said six, he prefer to work six hours a day, uh, not eight, unless conditions required. Sure. So he's sure. more familiar with what's going on there. I just wanted to to Eric the is day. done next Friday, correct? The 17th? 17th. Okay. So, yeah, our meeting's on the 14th. So right. We have another meeting prior. Correct. The other problem we have, and I gave the papers to Anita, I was sent over some papers by the DEP for the operator change, and we basically got to give them 10 days notice, so we have to make a decision on They're They're lenient with that, because sometimes people just walk out, so it's difficult to give somebody 10 days notice if somebody would quit this that day. That's what we have to send They'll them. work with you on that. They're not going to hold your feet to the fire. Yeah. This is Jason. <laughs> Actually, I, I think we're over the hump with them once we've got our permits shot. and everything. I think they're more comfortable now than they have been. Seven the years conversation. Of time. Well, they're they're confident in the people that we we have had working there, and and that really changed everything. Uh, they're looking at it for us, so. <laughs> you have a word to talk a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Like, who do we own the papers? Anita, you'll be staying on till yeah. June? Till June. No. June, the other day, I mean, 
June the first or June so on while we're going through the process. You know, you no, know. the kids aren't done with school till June fifth. So June fifth. I should tell them after that. Okay. I'd say she gives adequate time to find someone and get her yeah. in, so we don't throw her to the wolves. Mm -hmm. And more. Her. Is the full time maintenance? The, the extra full-time maintenance person, are they going to have um, benefits? Yes. Are you, uh, are you going to expect that person to uh, become licensed? Yes. Okay. We have performance criteria written that in so many years he has to achieve that, or are you... I don't think we have a, a specific criteria written, but that will be part of the, the interview process. With yeah, them. Uh, I think it should be. Hello, Dennis. Okay, I'm going to put John speaker call, okay? No, oh, we're in a meeting. Yeah, I told him to tell you. Hey, Dennis. Yes. Um, we are reviewing the letter that you sent up. We have the each group here with us. And they are comfortable with you taking over, you know, until Henry's uh, fully licensed to, you know, do the plant and stuff. Um, we, we've got your thing about, you know, minimum six hours a day, obviously, because you're traveling or whatever. Um, do you have a, a specific criteria as far as, you know, days, weekends? Is it flexible? Flexible. Okay. Jeremy? Any questions for Dennis? No, I mean, that, that, that's been our biggest question, Dennis, is if you and Henry could develop a schedule to possibly overlap the weekends, uh, and you're willing to hang your certification and, and have him work underneath it. Yes. Okay. My Did you, say, you guys have any questions for him? No, I'm 100% comfortable with that. Okay. Okay. Well, the each group said that they'd be willing to, you know, back up also okay. with that. And, uh, you know, as long as you're comfortable with, you know, working a flex schedule with Henry and having them, you know, to cover any emergencies or whatever we might have. Okay. And then we're telling you, right? Yeah, and, and we are going to advertise for another full-time maintenance person in there also, okay. just because of the amount of work that we have, you know, from here on out. Yes. Okay? Yes. Okay, Dennis, thank you. That uh, consent order has to be completed by, is it July? No, December. Or December? We have the rest of this year which we have probably four weeks left on the well project and then um, we'll be placing an in for bids on the media now that we have the permit in hand. Which is where I need you guys next to put together a bid package okay. for the, uh, the media plan one we have approved okay so that when we get somebody in here there's no uh, we didn't know that was included and you know, everything else like we ran into the last time okay okay very good so if you can start working on that for us sure and we can get moving on that all right media plan is that something that's going to be bid out or is that something yes that's... yes okay that's like he's going to do the bid package for us oh, so, okay i didn't hear that sorry yep like I said, and we have a better idea now exactly what we have to do, you know, for the DEP. No gray areas anymore, so. Okay, I'll need a motion to put the dentist on this thing. Sir, if I operate, yeah. I'll make the motion. Second. I'll say. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? What was that motion? To, to add Dennis Beck as a certified operator. Yeah. 
can work out the details hopefully between now and the next meeting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you need in order to fill out that paperwork, correct? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Henry, you okay with all that? So far, so good. All right. And Dennis, hang his license and... Yeah, I'm fine with working with Dennis. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And then us... Uh, obviously, trying. there's going to be times where six hours ain't going to work. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, he's... I mean, we've all seen the around-the-clock things happen. Well, you know? like he says, if he, if he has to, he, he will put in the extra hours. It's just that that's not going to be by choice. It's going to be by necessity. And uh, what I'd like for you to do too is when we start interviewing for a maintenance guy to be a part of those interviews. I'd like to be, yeah. So I mean, I'm gonna have to work hand Exactly. Hand. Yeah. So maybe. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, Eric and Anita should be given a uh, letter of recommendations for whenever they go for another job because I think they did a fine job here if they wouldn't have been with a lot of opposition uh, from certain people, they might have stayed. Well, obviously Eric doesn't need a letter. He no, was, he I know he's got another <laughs> yeah. job, and it always looks good if you keep have one in hand. Yeah. That's what? something that we will definitely do for them. Well, what is the status of ending the Articles of Incorporation? Because here you're sitting three members. This board is still, as far as I know, uh, under the uh, Commonwealth Charter, a seven-member board. So the question comes up about a quorum. They were filed and approved by the state. They were? You have them back? And the supervisors yes. have them back? Okay. See, I've never heard any discussion about it. That was a few meetings ago. Okay. I never uh, heard it mentioned at all. It's now a five-member board. Okay. Which is another thing that the supervisors are going to have to look into in a few months. Mm -hmm. Because any additional board member. Mm -hmm. One. Okay. Motion to adjourn. Make the motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed?